In this tutorial, the focus is on contours. I show you all the settings and controls so that you can go from this to this. Hi, my name is Serge and welcome to Power Surge, where I show you everything that I know about Revit. On screen, a topo surface has been modeled, but the contour lines are not visible. To fix this, Start with the Viz Graphic Overrides and under the Topography category, ensure that primary and secondary contours are on. From there, switch to a plan view where the topo surface is visible. Here, I have pre-drawn a couple of sections which cut through the site. This sectional view will provide key information referring to the low and high points of the site. In this example, the lowest point is at 5.3 meters below sea level. This needs to be reflected in the view range. Likewise, the highest point is at 6 meters. With that information in mind, switch back to the 3D view and then from there move up to the Massing and Site tab. Within the ribbon, at the bottom of the Model Site tab, locate the small black arrow to launch the site settings. Notice the Start and Stop columns. This is where we will enter the RLs collected from the sectional view. But before we do that, I'd like to start here. Checking this box activates the intervals option, which is currently set to 5000. If I hit apply down the bottom of the dialog, some of the contours are visible. Let me explain what this means. Here in plan view, the same settings are applied. I can use the label contours tool to identify the visible contours in both directions. And this reveals the starting point of zero. And then from that value, moving incrementally at intervals of 5000. I will change the values to illustrate this one more time. Now the increments will be 3000 and the starting point will be 500. Here we have the elevation at 500 and then moving incrementally at intervals of 3000. And that gives us our final result. To work with additional contours, deselect this and use this area here. Here, we need to insert the information that we gathered from the sectional view earlier in the video. The start value is the lowest point of the site. Make sure the range type is set to multiple values and then enter the stop value, which is the highest point or above. From here, move across to the sub category and set this to primary contours and hit apply. And now, lots of contours should be visible. These are primary or the main contours and are spaced at one meter intervals. I will now add another row, repeating the same steps, but this time assign the values to the secondary subcategory. of which we will set the increment value to 500. Now notice more contours are visible, but I can't distinguish between the primary and the secondary lines. To fix this, find the Manage tab, and then on the ribbon, find the Object Styles button. On the dialog, find Topography. Expand the Topography category 
find the secondary contours and change the line color and the line pattern. Now remember, this is the object styles, so it will change the object globally, so in all views. So now on screen, you can see the primary contours in black spaced at one meter intervals, and also the secondary contours in orange dash spaced at 500 millimeter intervals. I will edit some of the values so that you can see the result. So what if we wanted to change the graphics on the site plan only? Well, in such a case, we can override the global setting using the visibility graphics. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content and I will see you in the next video.